Hey, good morning, boys and girls. How the heck are we, by golly? I'm going to show you a little trick that I'm sure isn't new to many of y'all, but I have not done buck stitching in like a 100 years. So you might as well just say I'm a beginner. A beginner. First thing I'm going to do is move this back a little bit since I've got all them done up on that section. We'll come back down here and tighten. This is, I need a real stitching pony, but for now this is all I got. So we're going to make use of it. It's just a cheap one from a uh, crap tool. Um, so the first thing I, I figured out was that, man, I was wasting a whole lot of time back, 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 back to my needle to make sure I had it going in the right direction or not twisted. So here's what we're doing. That's just a, all I'm using to kind of open it up a little better. Now, it's a tight fit, so I use these little pliers about like that, through there like that. Now, what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and start it on the next hole so I can take my hands off of it, go take a break or whatever, and then as I pull this one up, Make sure it's not twisted up under here. Oops, I done hit the needle. <laughs> Only when I'm on camera. What the heck, huh? So now I'm going to pull that tight and I don't have to back, 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 start all over again. Finding with the orientation of the needle because it's already done for me. Uh, Another thing I'll do is every couple of holes, I'll poke that needle into a um, little wax ball I have here just to kind of help it stay slippery. Like I said, I'm sure there's a million of y'all that do this buck stitching more than I do, so you probably already knew this, but... For the beginners out there, or the old timers like me that have not done this in a hundred years, um, hopefully this, <laughs> twice I've done that. What's up with that, David? And then pull it tight, use your fingers. And then I like to come through with a pair of candle pliers and kind of smash things as I go. Every Again, not every hole, but every couple of holes because that candle plier is good for about two holes. So I'll, I'll do four to six and then boom, 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 do that to it. So anyway, there's your little tip for the day. I hope y'all have a good day. Come see me at davidmillsaddlery.com. Toodaloo, buggeroos.